good top spin. And I just think it has to be strong enough as well when the ball comes up and deep. And it feels great on the slice. Yeah. It feels really good. And I'm walking, running around my forehand. What am I, I mean, doing? We, 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 we know the most important thing with the racket is how it plays, right? But we also know that part of what makes your collection so special is the design, right? And the look. I mean, that's always been important to you, too. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. Pretty strong here. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. still got it, maybe. Yeah. Be careful. Don't give yeah. too many compliments. Or... I'll speak with Jordan, too. Maybe, maybe the um, alternate come in. the most important thing when you play? Is it uh, the string, the balance, or the feeling, what it is? The moment of impact. I mean, that's got to be the moment of moments in my mind, um, you know. And then, of course, um, when it comes down to the crunch, five ball, you know, you don't think of the racket. <laughs> it's just there. And uh, it's about tactics and it's about everything else. That's when you know you have uh, the right racket in your hand. Um, but that feeling of hitting a clean ball, that's what it is for me. Of course, you know, the grip and all that stuff is important. But uh, that's why I change grips a lot. Of course, uh, you know, I like having a new grip, not like a used one all the time. Yeah, the moment of, of impact, uh, of hitting a nice tennis shot, that makes me really happy. Yeah. How much difference be there's between this racket and the one you were using when you were pro? Results would have told me, but uh, I must say it feels, uh, I mean, very different. This is not just a, an evolution in, in my mind, it's more of a revolution. Um, I, I was so excited to go down to a lighter frame and just uh, try something completely different to again. Obviously, it's, a, it's another step closer to an easier player friendly racket you know when you don't feel so well and you wake up and you just go play some tennis this to me seems much easier than you know when i go back in the last 20 years i've played with much more difficult rackets to play with so this for me feels very easy i travel through the air quickly that's what i wanted so i could um, maintain a really nice racket head speed because i feel like over time when you're a professional tennis player, you start playing the percentages, you start playing maybe a little slower, you're scared to you know, hit through the ball and um, really unload on it. And I wanted to make sure I, I kept that up, you know, so I was really focusing on, on racket speed, nice top spin shots, you know, especially also in defense, you know, if I, if I had to hit a passing shot or something. So. Oh, that's a good one. Try this one. Okay. Enjoying my slice, actually. Yeah, we are too. <laughs> it's not so much about technique anymore. You know, I've gotten fooled enough uh, in the last 10, 15, 20 years where I think, oh, I don't, I'm not sure about this technique, but with racket technology, string technology, you can iron that problem out. And if you, as long as you hit hard and nice through the ball, um, everything's possible in, in tennis, to be honest. So I think the, the game is um, where it was, um, just again, a step higher. On vous fait gagner la raquette de Roger Federer en collaboration avec Wilson et Légende par tirage au sort. Premier lien dans la description. La RF01 très polyvalente, maniable et au design à l'image de la légende suisse, tout simplement magnifique. Bonne chance.